fight for every square inch of territory. Caught in the crossfire, civilians, including one mother, who went to get uh, her children uh, a bathing towel, and when she returned, a horrible scene awaited her. I wanted to, br uh, I want to bring in C uh, CNN senior international correspondent Nick Peyton Walsh. He's in Donetsk with more. Hi, Nick. Carol, deeply traumatized family we saw earlier on today. Last night, the town of Gorlivka, not far from where I'm standing in separatist held territory, was hit by shelling. In fact, it was hit again by shelling when we were standing there looking at the ruins of the house where that family lost their three children, you just described. A terrifying scene, the bath torn to pieces. The first time that family had had water for, month, uh, for weeks. They put the children in the bath to wash. And as I said, uh, the shell landed directly hitting the bathroom first. Uh, uh, parents in a back room and obviously the, the horrifying scene uh, soon became uh, visible to them. So shocking for that family, terrifying. They were in trauma when we saw them earlier on, but that's repeated in many different areas across this part of separatist held territory, but also on the other side, Ukrainian lines to both sides losing civilians to the artillery fire here. It's not slowing down as far as we can hear. We saw troops moving around the area, a lot of focus on the fight for one town to Baltzburn. Carol, I should explain, we, this deeply important conflict. It seemed incremental in so many ways how the lines have changed, but we are hours drive from Poland, from the European Union here. We are hours away from a key ceasefire, which is looming. If it fails, the potential for escalation here is enormous. And as we stand here at the moment, the violence is not ebbing, and there's a real sense on both sides that the hatred they feel for the other makes it perhaps unlikely that they will allow a ceasefire to take hold. Carol? We'll see what happens on Sunday. Nick Peyton Walsh reporting live from Ukraine this morning. Okay. President Obama is taking on cyber hackers. In a matter of moments, he'll be speaking at a cyber summit in California. Americans are on edge. Sony, Chase Bank, Target, just three of the several high-profile companies to be attacked. No way around it, computer security has been compromised and officials want answers. Dan